good afternoon, UDA. I'm Brogan Bop. And I'm Jordan Pfeiffer. Reporting for Trojan News Network. Joke of the day, Bob. How do trees get onto the internet? I don't know. How do they do that, Jordan Pfeiffer? They just log in. <laughs> Remind to all students wishing to ride the activity bus, you must sign up in the office by 12.30 p.m. each day. The yearbook fundraiser ends on Friday. It's not too late to participate in this and earn your free yearbook. Stop by room 308 for more. The new October scholarship list is now available in the guidance office. Attention winter sports athletes. Sign-ups for winter sports have begun. Please sign up for your winter sports team by visiting udasd.org, then clicking on the athletic site. Find the student-athletes menu and click on joining a sport. Winter sports include girls and boys basketball, wrestling, cheerleading, archery, bocce, and swimming. Please see Mrs. Shell in the athletic office with any questions. What sport are you signing up for? I'm doing wrestling. You seem more like a chess kind of guy, but I respect it. Oh, yeah. Remember that this week, that next week will be Spirit Week from the 24th to the 28th. Please dress up to show your spirit. Monday is Adam Sandler Day. Tuesday is Twin Slash Trio Day. Wednesday, wear pink. Thursday is Pajama Day. And Friday, Halloween Costume Day. And remember, no mask with that costume. The Student Council will be sponsoring a Halloween door decorating contest. Each winning discovery group will be awarded two large pizzas and two bottles of soda. Good luck to all. It was a busy day in sports action yesterday in the Trojan Nation. We start off with Aiden Falkroad, who is competing in the PIAA State Golf Championships the past two days at PSU. Aiden would shoot a 79 on Monday and an 81 yesterday to finish tied for 30th place out of 72 golfers. This was Aiden's second straight year of qualifying for the state event. Congratulations on an excellent season, Aiden. We are excited to see what you do next season. The girls volleyball team headed over to West Shore to take on West Shore Christian for their final game of the season. The Lady Trojans would come away with a 3-1 victory over the Bobcats. Kyra Tomlinson would have a 12 service points, 12 assists, and 10 digs. Kara Rupp would have 13 service points and 13 digs. Maggie Charles would have 13 service points and 8 kills to help lead the way. The team finishes the season with 13 wins and 7 losses overall. Congratulations on a successful season, ladies. The girls' soccer team also was on the West Shore last night as they took on Camp Hill. The Lions would score once in each half to come away with a 2-0 victory. The girls are back in action this evening as they host Juniata. The boys' soccer team hosted Greenwood in the Tri-Valley League semifinal round of the playoffs last evening. Greenwood have defeated Millersburg twice this year in the regular season, but the Indians would not be intimidated by the Wildcats. The teams battled back and forth in the first half, would, but would go on to an intermission tied at 0-0. 25 minutes into the second half, Marcus Tapper would slip a pass behind the Wildcat defense to Isaiah Dyer to put the Indians ahead 1-0. The Indians would play stingy defense the rest of the way and hang on for the win. The team will now play in the Tri-Valley League Championship game on Thursday against EJ. The game will be played at Susquehanna High School starting at 6.30 p.m. In sports action this evening, the girls' soccer team will host Junietta in the Battle for Brook fundraising game. For lunch on Thursday, we will be having Philly cheesesteak sub, crispy chicken smackers, chicken patty sandwich, seasoned steamed mixed veggies, pineapple tidbits, and low-fat milk. That's a wrap for TNN. Thank you for tuning in today. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and remember, in, in the, the Trojan, Trojan Nation, Nation we, we are stronger, stronger together. together.